The cleaner, greener Zen app. Now, we're all operating in a world of constraints, be it trying to get more done with less money, uh, be it trying to get more done with less people, but certainly more and more it's trying to get everything done with less power usage. Okay, now that's, that has implications both because power has environmental impacts, but also because power is becoming a more expensive commodity. It's something that we all have to deal with, uh, use less of. So in Citrix Labs, in, the, in the, the, the Australian Citrix Labs, we've been working on a project called Project Latoria. And this, this little fella here is a Latoria, or a green tree frog. And it's about taking the standard load balancing that we do in Zen app that spreads users across all the servers as much as possible and rethinking that. Uh, data centers use an enormous amount of power at the moment. Latoria is about taking that same data center and rethinking it so that it uses much, much less. Right, so Zen app. Large number of servers sitting in your data center. Large number of users. All of those servers are on all of the time. As you bring in more users, the load across all those servers, this is the red line, starts to, to, to creep up. And as you bring in more users, they're spread out across the entire farm. Now, when I bring in Latoria, that changes. So now we're able to turn off most of the servers and turn on only the ones that we absolutely need to have and gather all of our users across a small number of servers. So in this case, I have a single server that's turned on. Now I have more servers that's, that are turned on and I've turned on a server that's completely unused at the moment because I'm expecting rapidly increasing load. How about we take a look now and see how that would actually be applied. So, Adam. So, Project Latoria. Now, you mentioned it was Project Latoria, but I have the new official Citrix name. It's called Zenap Power and Capacity Management. That, that rolls off the tongue. That's great. We'll call it Latoria because that's what we're used to. But, uh, so what I've got in today's demonstration is we've essentially got an enterprise set up. We have a, uh, an enterprise that has a data centre here in Australia. We'll say the data centre is in Sydney. And we are supplying resources out to three call centres around the world. So we have a call centre here in Australia. We have one on the west coast of the US and we have one in India. And what you can see up on the screen is the Latoria console. And currently our utilisation of our data centre is at about, uh, about 86% or so. We've got uh, 861 sessions, that's the, uh, the dark purple bar. Uh, we've got this 126 session band here and what that is, is that's a setting within Latoria and that essentially says that within my data centre at any one time I can take in quickly you know, about 120 sessions or so. It, the number's varying a little bit because we've got load going into our data centre and the sessions are, are coming up and coming down. These are Zen app sessions. So we're able to say, okay, this data centre uh, has enough capacity to be able to take on any extra load peaks that we may have. Currently within our data centre, we have, we have uh, five servers. Uh, at the moment, four are switched on and one is switched off. And this is the beauty of Latoria. This is what it's being able to do, is control the power of the amount of servers uh, that we have running in the data centre. Let's have a little look at uh, the different servers that are currently running. As I said, we've got four, so we've got four online. Uh, three of the four are running at about 94, 96%, something like that. Uh, the fourth is running at about 60%, so it's got extra capacity to be able to take on uh, some extra sessions if need be, and that's, that's really where uh, uh, we've specified that buffer amount. And we've currently got one server that's switched off. So, Michael, I don't want you to do too much uh, calculations in your head of time zones and things like that, but I know that our Indian call centre is coming online right now. So, what we should see is, uh, well, if we were there, we'd see them coming to the office and logging in, of course, but within the management console itself, you can see the sessions now increasing on all of those servers. So servers one through three at the top there are, are increasing a little bit because there's a little bit of capacity left uh, within those, but particularly in server four, uh, you can see it's now climbing up. Now what'll happen is because our buffer amount we've specified has been invalidated, so we've set a certain amount of buffer sessions, we haven't got those to supply within the data center, so the data center is automatically provisioning a new server. This can be done through Citrix provisioning server. 
and Latoria is now powering that machine on. So it's going to be powering on soon. As you know, uh, ZenApp, it's not an instant thing that powers on, so I'll show you a little bit more about the management console here. Let's have a little look at some of the graphs we can get to uh, within Latoria. This is quite an interesting uh, uh, tab here, the performance tab. You can currently see the utilization within my, my data center has now climbed a little bit more uh, because our, our new uh, call center has come online. The sessions uh, have also increased a little bit. And you can see this white band here. That's where we've had servers powered off. Now, traditionally, administrators would be provisioning servers in a way that they're always switched on. That's wasting a lot of power, a lot of air conditioning, and therefore a lot of cost. So what Latoria has been able to do is keep that switched off while it's not needed and then switch it on when it is needed. So you can see that extra jump there. That's when our extra server has actually powered on. In terms of capacities, what we can do, because each server can actually take different amounts of sessions depending on how much RAM it's got, its processor, uh, all that type of thing, we're able to specify that within Latoria for server profiles. We also have a schedule, so we can actually change the amount of sessions that we have in our buffer. So currently we're set at 100, um, but after hours we may like to set it at a smaller number and reduce the amount of servers even further within our data centre that are switched on and really save some extra money there uh, overnight when perhaps our, our data centre is not being used quite as much. All right, let's take a look back at the server list here and you can see that our fifth one has now come online. We've got 6.8% utilisation. We've got 17 sessions running there. So we're pretty much running quite happily now with that extra server that's been provisioned. All right, let's take the next scenario. Let's say that our West Coast office in the US is coming offline. And let's have a look what happens. So what we should see here is we'll start seeing the session count reducing on all these machines here. We'll see within the fifth, uh, within the fifth server here, that will also drop down. Now, one of the smart things about Latoria is that we have this notion of load consolidation, which means that any new sessions coming in to the data center will be directed, it's like a smart load balancing, if you like. They're directed to particular servers so that other servers can be switched off when they haven't got any sessions left. And that's what we'll see here. So you can see there, it's gone to draining mode, which means it's, they're trying to empty out the sessions, if you like, on that particular server. It's a candidate to be switched off. And now because there's no more sessions left on it, it's now been powered down. So that's how Latoria can uh, be saving a lot of money within the data center and also giving you some extra capacity within the data center to use for something else, uh, not having to host ZenApp servers when they're not being used. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Adam. So that's Latoria in in, in the reality, right? So this is something that's, that's there that we've been working on. Adam, when is this thing available? When is Latoria coming out? So the ZenApp Power and Capacity Management Technology Preview is available right now. Right now? It's right now right because now. it's just been released. In fact, we did uh, a show in, in Sydney last week and it wasn't released. It's just been released this week. So you can go to citrix.com and download the technology preview right now. Try it out. Uh, it's a, a quite a mature technology and uh, see how it performs for you in your data center.